Okay, so now what I'd like to do is just go ahead and wrap up the styling on this topic page that we have where we list out the various posts on the particular forum that we're on. So you can see at the top of the page here, so you can see that we had just created kind of a bare bones template as we had for the post index as well. Um, so what we're gonna do now is go ahead and um, flesh out the markup for this view. So we'll head over to our Solution Explorer and then under Views, and in our forum we have our topic.cshtml and yeah so we had this simple version where we had the button and we had this heading tag here and then if there were any posts which we can see here we just created a simple table so we're going to make this look a little bit nicer now we'll keep what we have um, for reference for the time being but like many of our other pages here we're going to have a div with a class of container body content that's going to wrap the actual content for this topic view. And so the first thing that we'll have is a header, and so we're gonna, we're gonna make this a row um, section header. And then I'm gonna just paste some markup in here for the sake of uh, brevity. And I'm just gonna maximize Visual Studio here and just go ahead and paste in the markup here so we can take a look at it. So you can see we have a span in this first row where we have the name of the forum. And then I'm going to control visibility on this post button. Let's create a new post button based on whether or not the user is authenticated. So I'm just going to go ahead and format this a little bit more nicely, hopefully. So if the user is authenticated, then show this heading button here, which is actually just a link. And we use our tag helpers to go to the create post action, the create action on our post controller, and we style it as a button. And yeah, the text for the button or link is actually just create post. And so we're only gonna show that if the user is logged in. And then what I'd like to do is to create another form here, which will allow us to actually search a particular forum for a query. So this is different from the search that's on the home page. Um, where this search will actually search within the forum that is represented by this topic. So we're on the Python forum now, and so the search bar that we'll have at the top of the Python forum will only search through Python posts. Okay, so we'll need to have a search query property on our forum topic model. Let's go ahead and add that now. We can just F12, and we can stop the server for the time being to add this. So we'll have a public string search query. Okay, and I'll start the server back up so we can keep working on our view. And we'll just go ahead and keep this page open in the background. So back in our topic.cshtml, so we have this create post button, we have the search form, um, we have the property now on the view model. And we have this placeholder text, a class for some simple styling. And then we have this on focus where we, we're actually gonna supply some JavaScript to actually clear the content of that search query every time um, we select into that input box. And the way that we're gonna do that is actually here at the bottom of what will be the bottom of our page. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the original template that we had built here. So just delete that. And now we're just working with the new template. I'm gonna have this at section scripts and this is where we can put some JavaScript. So we'll just make a very simple JavaScript function called clear this, and we'll pass it the target. And then all we need to do is just simply set the target value to an empty string. And that'll have the effect that we, when we pass it this element, um, we're actually just going to set this element's value to an empty string, which has the effect of actually clearing this input text box. Okay, so oops, I need to fix a typo here. This is section scripts. And so still within the first row, in the header row of our topics page, what I'd like to do is actually wrap our heading here in a div of class section heading. And sorry, that's gonna go above our forum name. And then we'll put this tag here at the bottom Beneath our form. OK, 
Okay, so we've got our section heading here. Let's go ahead and collapse that for the time being. And then we'll have a section in this row for the description. And in here is where we'll put the forum logo. And again, we'll inline style the background image so that we can grab it off of this view model. And then we'll just have a paragraph tag and we'll just have a simple welcome method and we'll just have a simple welcome message perhaps like welcome to the app model forum name forum please keep posts friendly and on topic okay and then we can have a paragraph tag here and we'll say like you must be a registered member to create a new post. And let's go ahead and only show this um, whenever a user is not logged in. So we've done that before, so we know how to do that. It's just at if, and we'll say like uh, the user dot identity is not authenticated. Then we can just go ahead and throw this paragraph tag inside that if statement. And then maybe around registered member here, we can supply a um, link to actually register, which is in our account controller and it's under our register action. So we'll go ahead and paste that here. And we'll just go ahead and make sure that this tag is formatted properly. Okay. All right, so that's looking good as far as our top rows. Let's go ahead and collapse the section description and we'll create a new row here. And this will be our forum index content. And what I'll say is if that we have any posts, this is where we'll put our new posts table. Except we're going to make it look a little bit nicer than just the standard table. But it will be an HTML table nonetheless, and we'll have it um, styled with Bootstrap. And as usual, I'm just going to go ahead and forego the T head and have a T body only here. And then this is where we can put our typical uh, for each loop, and we'll say for each bar post in model.posts, we're going to have a new row that holds a post. And in fact, the first data cell here will be what we use to hold much of that post data. So I'm just going to go ahead and paste in that markup here and then we can talk through it. Okay, so we've got a div for our post data. We have a div for the post title in which we have our controller action here going to our post controller and the index action and we're going to pass it the post ID in terms of our um, ASP route ID and we're going to wrap that link around the post title and then just under the title we'll have a subtitle here where we display the author and we have a link to the author's profile we wrap that around the author name for the post And then we also have the author rating in parens and the date that this post was posted. Okay, and that should end the first of three data cells. I'm just going to go ahead and paste the other two here, which are much shorter. So the next data cell we have, and the next column in the table, will be a container for the number of replies that the post has, as well as the date posted. And since we have it 
posted there, what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and remove it from the first cell. Okay, and now let's go ahead and collapse our table. And so if there are any posts, we're gonna go ahead and put them out into this table. And so now we can say else and maybe be explicit about it because we're actually also going to implement a search feature where we might not return any posts. But in this case, we wanna make it explicit if the model that forum dot all posts else we'll just make a div with class no posts here and this is where we'll use the material icons so we can actually say class material icons and then md72 to actually control the size of that icon and then inside the icon tag this is where we use that ligature syntax we can actually say question answer and that will correspond to a particular icon that I'd like to use here. And maybe very simply in like an H3 tag here, we can say like, it looks like there are no posts to be found. And then we can say, for instance, like why not post something? And then around post, maybe we can create like a button that links over to our create post. And so we'll just tuck that inside a link that points to our post controllers create action and of course pass it the forum ID. And I'll put this in a span and I won't actually put any styling on it, but that could be something you might wanna do. Okay, so this is our slightly improved topic page. Let's go ahead and take a look at it and see what we need to style. So we'll select a post. And for instance, we can go back to the Python forum and so yeah, this is already looking a little bit better. Um, looks like our search button looks pretty bad. We need to format that, but we do have a search bar up top here. And we do have our posts now in a slightly nicer looking sort of listing view here. All right, great. So let's go ahead and we'll minimize this for now. And I think it's time to make a commit or well past time to do that. So I'm gonna stop the server and go ahead and do that. So now I head back over to our site.css 